When we fail to plan, what's happening? Yeah, we plan for failure. So it naturally happens. So you have to plan. You have to schedule your learning. How? How will you schedule your learning? So now, till the annual examination, almost you have some 45 days. What a half month. If it is a working day, you have to learn for at least uh, seven hours. The timing I'll tell you, six to ten in the morning. And the evening, eight to eleven. How many hours? Seven. Seven hours. The rest of the time you will be in the uh, school or coming or the school trips and all. Uh, then the uh, rest of the time you want to sleep, take rest, you want to your food and all. So you can use seven hours. This how will you ensure that you have used seven hours on a working day? For that one uh, solution, one 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 tactic I tell you. This I uh, I have done this while I was a student. Nothing. You must have a rough notebook. In that rough notebook, tomorrow is Tuesday, isn't it? Yes. So Tuesday. If I sit for learning, study, I'm sitting for study. 6 a.m. I'm sitting. Then I will write there 6 a.m. When I stop learning, maybe after six, after some 30 minutes, I, I may stop. Then I will write there 6 a.m. After 5 minutes, I will again continue. So it will be 6.35. I will write there 6.35. So up to 11 o'clock, you can just count how many hours you are studying. So this sum of the hours you are trying to maybe 3 hours, 4 hours, but you wanted to study for 4 hours, you have used only 3 hours. So you can understand this one hour I have lost. So the game is a lose for me, right? And then like that in the evening at 8 o'clock or so, when you sit for study, you write 8 p.m. And if it is going after 9 o'clock, you write 9. Then when you leave for 5 minutes, again 9, 5 you will start. So at the end of the day, before going to bed, you can assess how many hours you study. So this continuously how to do. Uh, if it is a off day, uh, Friday and Saturday are whole days for you. Uh, Thursday evening you can take rest. You, you can relax. But the Friday and Saturday you must never spoil. On a whole day, you have to study for 12 hours. A day is of 24 hours. 12 hours means 3 segments each of 4 hours. That is 6 to 10. Then 11 to 4. Uh, 12. Huh? No, so 12 to 4. 12 to 4. Then uh, you can go for 6 to 10. So three segments. Uh, and also on the, on the holidays, uh, don't focus uh, on a particular subject. Yeah, all important subjects you have to involve in that. One hour you study a particular subject, another one hour, another subject. So there will be some stimulus variations. Okay, but uh, the level of difficulty also you have to uh, identify. For example, mathematics and uh, and uh, subjects like uh, of, uh, level of complexity, more complex subjects must be given priority. So you have to start the day with the top subjects. 